In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the song, the popular gospel hymn, Blessed Assurance, in the key of C major. To avoid confusion, here's how this video is going to be. This video is going to be divided into two sections. The first section is going to be just for beginners. My main target is for beginners. While the second session, I will just be showing you, I'll be going a little bit advanced, okay? And showing you my own advanced um, approach to playing this um, gospel hymn. So for the beginner session, in my left hand, I'm going to be showing you the basic chord progression of this hymn, while alongside in my right hand, I'll be showing you the melody line, and I'll be playing both of them simultaneously. It's going to be more or less like a play-along session, so it's most recommendable to get your own piano and play along with me. Alright, let's get started with the beginner session in the key of C major, so this is the scale. Okay, so make sure you familiar with the chords, as usual, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7, back to the 1. Okay? Make sure I found out all these chords. So let's get started. We start from this. We start from the 1. Okay? Then we'll go to the 4. Back to the 1. Okay? Then. Four again. Then I like playing this chord. Okay, and um, this is the two, but in the major form. Okay, so the two is not usually a minor chord like this, but we're making it major. So that's going to act as a dominant to get to our five. Okay, so let's start again from the beginning. One. Four back to one so we go to the four then major two okay then five then we we'll repeat this part again then we we'll go to the four what I like doing I like going to the three Okay, then to the 6, then to the 2, then to the 5, back to the 1. Okay? So this is just for the beginner's um, aspects. You can always rewind the video in case you miss some lines and just follow it um, accordingly. So let's move to the next part. This is my story. We start from the one, okay? One. Then we go to the four. Back to the one. I like going to the four, okay? Then you play the major two. Okay, again, then to the five, okay, hope you are following, so we'll go back to the one, okay, four, I like going to the three, then six, okay, hope you are following, Two, then five. Okay, so you can always use the text on screen as a guide in case you are lost at some point, and you can always rewind the video. So let's move to the um, much more advanced technique. I'll be showing you my own personal approach to playing this song in an advanced manner, okay? Instead of just the basics. So this is what I like to do. So something like this. Sorry. 
Okay, so all I'm just doing in my right hand, I'm just simply soloing with chords, okay? So like I always say, the general idea to soloing with chords in your right hand, which is making the sound much more fuller, that is harmonizing the melody, is just by like always keeping the melody notes as the highest notes in your in your chord, okay, in your right hand. So just watch as watch as the melody um, line is always kept as the highest notes in the chord. That is, sorry, okay. So this is the melody always on top. This is the one, then four. So you can see the melody is always the highest notes. Okay. Okay. This is the melody. Then. Okay. So what I did here is I just I went to the four. Then. Um. Then I played this chord. Okay. This is a diminished chord of the one, okay? You can make it um, full diminish, that is diminished seven of the chord one. I use it to get to the five, okay? That is. Okay. This is diminished chord of the one. Most time it can lead to the five. Okay. But when I get to the 5, to create a lot of tension, I did something like this. You can see this um, high tension diminished chords I was playing. It's kind of a diminished walk. Um, let's just say walk down in this case. Something like this. Okay, um, 4. Okay. You can see what I did. This is a very beautiful, um, let's just say, passing chord you can use to get to the one. Because it creates a lot of tension, okay, that leads you to the one, something like this. So, it wants to resolve back to the one, something like this. So, that's what I did. Okay. Three. Then I did something like this also. So you can see right there, I did something like a grace note. So this is a very good passing chord. You can also use the second chord. Okay. So I use this. I use this to get to my chord two. So. Like this, something like this. The two. You see this? Well, actually, the chord I was playing in my left hand is a the major sixth. Okay, so this is the sixth chord: one, two, three, four, five, six. But I made it major. Okay, so that's going to act as a dominant chord to get to the second. That's in my left hand, but in my right hand, I kind of graze through this. Sorry. It's a very, this is also a very good way of approaching the second chord in any song, okay? Sorry. Okay, so that's just basically it. In case you are lost at any point, you can always rewind the video, go check it out, and always pause in case I'm too fast along the line. I hope you find value. If you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.